I welcome you all in this, I would say, eighth round of the domestic and international road shows which we are organizing uh, under the umbrella of Rising Rajasthan 2024, the Global Investment Summit. We have been to Mumbai. Honorable Chief Minister graced the presence there. We went to Seoul, South Korea. We went to Tokyo. We went to Osaka, Japan. Then there was a delegation led by Honorable Minister Industries, which went to Abu Dhabi. It went to Dubai. Then it was Doha. And uh, there was another delegation which went to Switzerland under the leadership of Honorable Minister Industries. And then our Honorable Minister, State Minister for Industries, he went to Italy. So there is a long list. So, but in the series of Rising Rajasthan, I would call it the eighth round of the international roadshows. And as it was uh, mentioned by Mother Singhania Ji, that we are getting stupendous and very exciting support from the industry, from the media, from the government departments in different states, and even the governments abroad, like in Japan and South Korea, we had long meetings and uh, in UAE as well. So, wherever we went, the flavor of the economy, the industrial activities and the business functions, they are always different. And we have been trying our best to pitch our offerings, what Rajasthan has to offer, considering that flavor of business, industry and economics in that particular region. And today we sit here in Delhi, which is NCT and core and heart of national capital region. So uh, what I would be speaking or presenting would be mostly focused on the businesses and the investors and the industries which are based in this broader NCR uh, region. But before that, a brief about the state of Rajasthan. Uh, we are the fast growing economy. Our GSDP grew at 11%, which is higher than the national average. Our per capita income grew at the rate of 8%, which is again higher than the national average. And we doubled our economy in the last seven years. And as per the Sankal Patra, the manifesto of the government of Rajasthan, we envision to double our size of economy, which is 15 lakhs to 30 lakh crores in period of five years. Because if we could do it in seven years in the last lab, we'll be able to do it in the period of five years. And we are sure that our growth would not be linear. It would be a projectile and rising growth. And because of that, it will be more than 11 percent. We'll be certainly able to double the size of economy in another period of five years. And that is what all rising Rajasthan is about. And we say that because Rajasthan is already a leader. So it's a brief snapshot. Like when you talk about energy sector, we are first in installed solar capacity in whole of the country. We are first in production of onshore crude oil. We are first in production of, if you like talk about the minerals in production of lead and zinc, we are then second in cement production. And when it is about logistics, we are second in rail network in whole of the country. And we are third in national highway networks, the road networks. So we are first in our natural resources, minerals. We are first and second in number of sectors which are related to energy. And we are second and third in the logistics aspects when it comes to the connectivity, which is the basic lifeblood uh, for the whole of the industry. And there would be much more than come. Like in agri products, we are number one in production of mustard, pearl millet, oil seeds and medicinal plants. So now, uh, as we have gathered here today in Delhi, so my presentation would be mostly focused on these three broad aspects that why Rajasthan is a natural extension of NCR. Because majority of the industrialists and the business delegates who are sitting here, they belong to NCR region. Or even if their businesses are spread out across the country or maybe globally as well, 
but how the ncr business and economy is rising is one of the major concern so why rajasthan is one of the natural extensions of ncr second and what we have to offer for the businesses in ncr and third i would like to throw some light that how we are ready to do that what is the level of our preparedness so coming back to ncr thing ncr is one of the major growth magnets of northern india and it is the single largest urban agglomeration of the country so and the key sectors which have been driving growth in ncr is number one the services sector so it is like real estate and it its software and logistics and in the manufacturing it is mostly about auto textiles electronics and food processing and the key drivers for growth of ncr have been the infrastructure and logistical efficiency which is available here so i am trying to build a story about it that why rajasthan is a natural extension to ncr and second is the large land banks land banks and third is the huge skill base which is available in ncr and the point to note is here is the last bullet point and the prominent vector of growth of ncr lies in the southwest which extends from manesar gurgaon manesar to bhiwari and nimrana bhiwari and nimrana in rajasthan so but the current scenario in ncr is what the industry is facing and what the businesses are facing is the scalability related issue land is becoming scarce the land cost is rising the rental costs are rising traffic has become a sort of issue in large pockets so to address this challenge rajasthan being a logistic center of this new corridor is an answer that is what we are here to offer today that why rajasthan is an answer to this problem of scalability of businesses may it be the relocation of businesses from ncr or may it be the expansion of businesses or the industries which are currently functional in the state of rajasthan because in logistics 39% of the western dedicated freight corridor is passes through rajasthan the largest mmlp at khatuwas which is catering not only to the industries of rajasthan but of uttar pradesh of haryana of delhi that major mmlp it is located in the state of rajasthan on western dedicated freight corridor and it has a capacity of 1 million tu is 20 feet equivalent units of capacity which is huge and it is already started feeling congested and the concor which is operating this khatu bus mmlp is looking for additional avenues for further expansion and we are supporting them then another thing when it comes to logistics is the fourth bullet point in the first category is that nh48 the old delhi mumbai expressway and the new arterial delhi mumbai new expressway which has come up which passes from sona and goes to baroda and branches out to jaipur this would be the new hub for industrial expansion because of the availability of huge land banks and rajasthan already has a thriving industrial ecosystem of 1500 hectares in bhiwari there are two dmic nodes which are coming along with this dedicated freight corridor of roughly 3600 hectares jodhpur pali marwad industrial area and khushkeda bhiwari nimrana investment region kbn ir and jpmi and additional 4800 roughly 5000 hectares of land is being developed in the state of rajasthan at 31 different locations so this is available in the booklet and the material which we have provided you in the kits so you can go for sector specific parks region specific parks how they are connected to the road network how they are connected to the inland container depots that all information is available it is a good ready reckoner if you are planning for your industry or business uh, expansion so now i would say that this is one of the most important slides of my presentation today we have very specific answers to the requirement of ncr industry so this is broadly categorized into four different sections so 1 2 3 4 you can see these serial numbers on the map also uh, on the left in the uh, yellow color so first three lie on nh48 the old national highway connecting delhi mumbai so kbnir it is an area of 558 hectares 
it is under advanced stage of planning we have received the environment clearance from government of india moef so this is the best new upcoming area and how we have demarcated this area is that around 170 hectares is available for the industrial clusters uh, auto or like food processing or even it its service sector related issues so that land is available 84 hectare land we have demarcated for commercial and knowledge city component like if there are any uh, big university branches or campuses which are wanting to come if there are global ivy league brands which are wanting to come it is the best location for this particular segment and it is only 90 minutes like as there was a discussion which we were having in the morning uh, in the adjoining hall so it is only 90 minutes from gurgaon it is almost like delhi so this is the next place to look for for the investors in delhi and in and around in ncr the second is uh, greater bhewari township you can uh, see that serial number in two it is only 60 minutes it is an earmark zone of 200 hectares of land 2000 hectares of land sorry so this 2000 hectares is available for industrial use and we are open to the idea if even there are big groups or businesses or industrial houses for that matter who are wanting to develop this as some sector specific industrial zone we are open to private partnership concept as well then third is snb urban complex this is shahjahanpur nimrana bhairod urban complex it lies right on nh48 20 kilometers of stretch along the highway 1 kilometers on both the sides this is the urbanizable piece of land for the real estate businesses of ncr because real estate is the real in thing in ncr region because costs are rising so much and the future scalability lies in this zone this area has been earmarked it is under the planning stage and fourth i would like to draw your attention regarding which the honorable chief minister and ajay shri ram ji was also talking in the morning this is an area which is only like say 140 minutes so roughly 2 and 1/2 hours at the most from gurugram this is 55 square kilometers of land and it is sandwiched between the railway line the national highway the dme the delhi mumbai expressway and along with the uh, jaipur agra highway so this is the new thing and is the most promising promising area though it is under the initial stages of planning but the future mega industrial township would be coming in this region so please keep this in mind as well so these four areas offer opportunity of scalability to the businesses and industries in the ncr so now quickly what are the like the potential opportunities which is which are available so there are number of sectors in which the opportunities are available but i would try to uh, focus my presentation on these uh, seven broad areas like real estate it its software tourism and logistics in the services sector and automotive esdm and renewable partly sort of in the mixed area but in the uh, manufacturing sector <coughs> the coming to the first point of real estate the use of land is determined not only by its current market value we we understand that the government understand that the use of land is not only determined by its current market value but its future economic value as well so keeping that in mind the potential opportunity i will state come to those two three points uh, in rajasthan are the new high tech city which is coming up now for the real estate estate industry real estate industry which is sitting here it is a big opportunity there is an investment opportunity of as per the preliminary reports being prepared by the urban and housing development department of the state of 50000 crore rupees it is in urban planning drainage sewerage systems smart and green sustainable cities developments of roads skyscrapers convention centers so this new high tech city is a big opportunity where you can think of partnering with the government not only in whole of the project but maybe in some segments which are related to development of the high tech city something like which happened close to uh, hyderabad second is amrit global technology application center this is 
37 hectare piece of land here also we are open for the private partnerships and it is sitting right in the heart of jaipur city close to the airport we can think of partnering in that as well and furthermore the premium office spaces and multi tenantal buildings both in bhiwadi and jaipur the banking financial services and insurance sector the bfsi and the co working spaces and gccs global capability centers they have already started creating their footprint in this state of rajasthan particularly in jaipur city in one form or another so there is a big opportunity for businesses in the ncr to start thinking about it and the last two points are the land aggregation bill the which is for the industrial and institutional development and the rajasthan land pooling urban act where we have already taken up 160 hectares of development in sivdashpura these are the entirely new and innovative solutions which state is proposing for private partnership to the real estate developers and to the private industrial park developers so please do think about it and if any more further information is needed we are always uh, there to further engage with you second category is it its and startups and we have an established ecosystem of it its and startups and proximity of proximity to delhi our proximity to delhi number 1 the low cost of talent pool which is available to rajasthan with rajasthan good living conditions of jaipur then competitive rental costs these are big buy ins if like the uh, businesses or the uh, big it companies of gurugram are planning to have second location or if they are planning to sort of relocate or further expansions then jaipur is the right place to do that and the potential opportunities lies in our fintech park which is available where startups can come our new data center policy promotes data centers we have changed the bylaws the pain points of the data center industry like the parking things and far and the provisioning for green energy and tariff subsidy related issues we have been addressing uh, all those issues and bhiwadi is the right place that was about jaipur bhiwadi is the right place for gccs it co working places and it complexes so i would request you to visit the urban development part of bhiwadi as which has come up there are certain teething problems so we are addressing them but if you go and see bhiwadi now it is the most upcoming area in the whole of the ncr region and the announcement of state government of creating four atal innovation hubs spending 1000 crore rupees it was announced in the budget this is again a big opportunity if the it industry is uh, wanting to enter into a joint venture with us so there was a discussion about tourism in the morning so whenever you think about rajasthan so the first thing which strikes mind is tourism i would say fortunately but it becomes a challenge sometimes for me but now we have started considering tourism at part of industrial development the first thing it is about tourism and we have diverse range of tourism possibilities and tourism avenues which are available may it be heritage tourism we are known for wildlife tourism we are known for desert tourism we are known for religious tourism we are known for cultural tourism and we are coming out as a big luxury wedding destination as well now across the world across the world so there are big opportunities and there are nine unesco world heritage sites in the state and we are proud about that and we boast about that and the few opportunities which are available are rajasthan mandapam again coming in the heart of the city jaipur so there are investment opportunities ppp venture if you are wanting to enter into this is on the basis of bharat mandapam then the luxury hotels in jaipur jodhpur udaipur heritage hotels and convention centers and then film city tent city and amusement parks next is logistics so when we were framing our new logistic policy so the best statement which i found was if business is the life blood of the economy if business is the life blood of the economy then logistics is the arterial system it reduces the cost of doing business we understand that and in terms of logistics if you start studying the state of rajasthan today we are the most well connected state not only in terms of connectivity but in terms of handling the cargo and transporting it to the different 
ports on the uh, western side of the uh, country so please think about these opportunities in short there are five new multimodal logistic parks which we are planning there is huge scope of uh, investment and we are signing one mou also uh, during the course of the event so jpmi again jaipur kota ajmer jodhpur 13 dfc stations the construction of most of which have been completed by railways the western dedicated freight corridor uh, related corporation so new integrated logistic parks we have identified the land parcels and the three pin pointed areas are fulera balotra and rohat the industry has already started showing interest the new air cargo we are planning for jodhpur we currently have two air cargo stations at jaipur which is one is under the state government organization and another is operated by the private organization and the modern e-commerce logistics like in jaipur bhiwadi and kota the new logistic policies supporting the investors which are come, wanting to come into the logistic sector another one is automotive i will not take much time in it but there are three points only which i would like to highlight that we have more than 120 plus auto players already in the state and there are thriving six auto clusters and we have all the major key players which you see at the bottom of this slide and the potential opportunities lies in kbnir khushkeda bhiwadi nimrana industrial region which i just mentioned that hardly like 45 to 60 minutes from gurugram it is almost like delhi and uh, there is then salarpur area so around 250 hectares of land is available but we are wanting to have some big anchor auto invest investor here in this region and there is enough land parcel available for the auto ancillary industry as well then 400 hectares in kunj bihari pura in jaipur and then in gilod japanese zone where the oems or the other ancillary uh, units can come up then uh, esdm i would highlight only one point there was discussion about raw material mineral based industry copper zinc lead silica recently discovered deposits of lithium and recently discovered deposits of rare earth elements if you have got these six elements or mineral resources so this is the perfect and best place to set up your plant for electronic system design and manufacturing for the uh, electronics uh, industry we have got apart from these raw materials skilled workforce there is new electronic manufacturing cluster which is coming up in uh, jaisalmer 220 hectares b2 is it is in the private sector so we are believing now more in joining hands with private business groups to rope in their uh, efficiency potential and the new areas in kbnir and again bhiwadi region so uh, this is the area where currently we do not have very strong footprint but i say but i keep on reading like the tatas entered into a kind of big mou in electronic manufacturing and so we'll be trying to rope in such big brands in this area the last sector is the renewable energy sector so after tourism if there is any other thing which has put rajasthan on the global map is the renewable energy so like lot of global pension funds lot of sovereign wealth funds insurance funds and even like private equity this is already flowing in the state of rajasthan through the local investors and the companies and the business houses only two things is three things the state has target of creating 86 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity first second it has a potential opportunity of 3 lakh crore rupees for you and third we have 2.5 lakh hectares of land bank identified for setting up these re generation plants so and in last one one and a half month we have allotted reasonable amount of land to number of re industry groups so this is another area and one more thing which we have added is that we are opening up 100 hectares of re equipment manufacturing park in kakani so that was about generation but now we are wanting to focus on the manufacturing aspect also like solar wafers or cells or ingots or 
then assembly of solar panels and other components related to uh, wind and energy. So there is a huge scope. Even if you are not directly into like manufacturing or generation, if you are dealing with funds or if there are surplus resources, you can think of investing that also because Rajasthan is the place where you are getting the highest return on investment in renewable energy sector in whole of the country because of the higher solar insulation which we have. So it makes a big business sense for investing in renewable energy in the state of uh, Rajasthan. So and how like Rajasthan is ready, we are, are we really prepared for all this what I have presented? So yes, we are prepared. So only two small things. We have a dedicated investor services interface, Raj Nivesh, where 122 plus services across 14 uh, departments are available. We have JIS, uh, enabled industrial land portal. And the turnaround time of these applications is 17 days. And on the new MOU facilitation page, online page, which we have created in last period of two months, we have received intents more than 15 lakh crore of rupees, which is already higher than what we did in the previous uh, investment summits. And second is the set of fresh policy initiatives. So our idea is in brief, I will not explain about the different policy aspects. The idea is to how to reduce or address the factors of production, basically land, labor, capital, and then the secret source of entrepreneurship. So this is the set of policies, how we handle land, labor, which is talent pool, skill, capital, how we can support in making investments by providing capital subsidy, freight subsidy, operating expenses, and then the skill and entrepreneurship policy and data center uh, policy. So and rising Rajasthan. So this was a short presentation about what all we have to offer. But to engage more and further, so Rising Rajasthan is a global global platform, platform and it is not a summit which will end only on this like 11th of December 2024. There would be series of chapters of Rajas, Rising Rajasthan in due course in another period of 5 or 10 years which would keep on coming. So this was only the bird's eye view. So if you are wanting to gain more information, how to engage further. So please come and be part of Rising Rajasthan where you can know more about sector specific future trends which are going on. You can engage with the global and international industry and that is why we have called Rising Rajasthan Global Investment Summit. We are going abroad as well. We are engaging with the industry abroad and lot of interest is being shown by the foreign industry also in terms of forging new engagements and partnerships with the domestic industry here in India and Rajasthan. I invite you all to be part of Rajing Rajasthan from 9 to 11th of December. We'll organize site visits for you, hand-holding, facilitation, one-to-one -one dialogue, signing of investment intents and uh, I request you all to participate with similar vigor in the Rising Rajasthan Investment Summit and in the end I would uh, request someone to play the audio-visual uh, film for us. You'll find it equally enthralling and exciting. Thank you so much.